What's up, Jake? Uh, what's up, AJ? The 40-yard touchdown that Ryan threw to you, Next Gen Stats has as his most improbable completion of this entire season. Can you walk us through what that play was like uh, to be on the receiving end of? Uh, I, I got a question for you, to be honest. Like, where do people come up with the improbability of, of, of a catch? Like, <laughs> It's it's a real real time grading, man. That's, that's what the numbers say. <laughs> but um, I kind of I kind of drilled it into uh, Ryan head all week. Whenever I, whenever it's play call, and I get the opportunity to be one on one, to throw this ball, um, and he trusts me, and he trusts me, and I made a play for him. You know, so uh, hopefully we can keep it going. And uh, on the third and nine, I think it was in the first quarter, it looked like you may, uh, Ryan may have had you uh, for a deep opportunity, but uh, maybe a miscommunication on the route. Uh, can you kind of walk us through what happened on that play? Um, unfortunately, like like uh, like some other passes, uh, we just didn't connect on that one. Kind of, kind of. I don't, I I don't know if he was afraid to say that. So that's a question for him. Uh, but uh, we we didn't connect on on that one and a couple others today. Saron. Saron. Jim. Go there. I can go, Kim. Okay, go ahead, Paul. Hey, AJ. Um, just a, a, a lot of new guys were contributors today. You've had kind of some guys dripping in on offense throughout the year, running back and on the offensive line. Today it was on defense. Uh, you, you guys talked a lot about continuity in the off season, but what's it like to have these new guys coming in, bringing you some some juice? Um, you just got to stay ready. Uh, I think all week long, I mean, and it's just about how the game goes. You, you never know what could happen. And, and, this is about being a pro, staying ready, you know, so you don't got to get ready. Uh, credit to the guys that come in and, and helping us, you know, who just not normal starters, but they're doing a great job coming in and, and playing a role. So. Let's try to run again. Yeah, AJ, you, you didn't do your uh, your Dion dance after the touchdown, man. What happened there? <laughs> um. I don't know. For some weeks, I've been I've been thinking about jumping on the goalpost, and and last week I forgot, and uh, but we was losing last week. I know why you do it, <laughs> but uh, um, I just I just just try to have fun whenever I'm out there. Uh, whatever comes to my mind, I try to do. But you know, I, I gotta handle my business first, and then then I celebrate. Then you have fun. Yeah. More importantly, you've established yourself as as a premier catch and run receiver, but how important is it for you to, to show that you have that downfield ability like you did on that touchdown? Um, you gotta, it at least has to be on film that you can take a guy over the top, you know, cause they gotta at least honor that first, you know, and uh, then I gotta worry about something else. They gotta worry about the catch and run uh, ability. So I'm um, just having a couple of things in your arsenal, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing, so. Chris Harris. AJ, Mike said that coming into this game, you guys were kind of at a crossroads of your season after dropping a couple and hitting the stretch right here. How important was it for you guys to take care of business today and do what you did? Um, it was really important to get back on, get get, get this win. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it was midway through the season. Uh, a lot of teams go down, a lot of teams go up, a lot of teams stay the same. I've been preaching it all week, and, it, and it's true. You know, last year uh, we started going in the up direction, and uh, – we just every game, every week, we just try to focus and and get get the win. No matter how you get it, it could be ugly, it could be pretty, uh, don't matter. It's all about getting a win at the end of the day. So. Glennon. Hey, Jay. Sorry, I'm coming in late, but um, a couple of deep shots to you. One, it looked like maybe there was some some miscommunication, an early one. Uh, wonder maybe what happened there, but how nice was it to get a second chance there and, and get that long touchdown? Um. It was nice. It was it was just nice, period, just to take a shot, because uh, the first two balls they uh, I, 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 were twenty four, whatever number. Uh, he jumped both routes, you know. So we had to we had to let him know we'd take him deep. We had to let him know it had just a thought, you know, so he can kind of back up a little bit, you know, be a little more conservative, because uh, at first he was kind of trigger happy. So we had to try to see if we can take him on top, and, you know. So we got him thinking a little bit. 
And on the uh, on the, the big gain or two, you know, a lot of receivers are, are thinking about getting hit when they when they catch the pass. That doesn't seem to be a primary concern for you. Your your number one thought is usually, where am I going next? Right? I mean, how do you do? You worry about the hit also, or yeah, you worry about the hits you don't see, of course. Uh, that time, that time I could I could burst myself. Uh, I don't really worry about getting hit. You know, I I try to do the hitting, but um, but um, that time I, I I got a chance to gather myself and get some yards out this play. Thank you, Kyle Tucker. Yeah, AJ, I apologize if you already answered this, but it seems like over the last dozen games you you've kind of made a, a leap. Um, how and why? What, where are you getting better? Where are you getting more comfortable um, in this league? Um, my confidence is still growing. Uh, I like to tell myself I haven't did anything yet. Uh, never too high, never too low. Um, stay right in the middle. Um, I'm still working um, every day. Always trying to improve something in my game. I know where I want to be, but you know, I feel like I'm heading in, in the right direction. So. Is there any one thing in particular that you're much better at now than the day you walked in here? Um, no. Jim Wyatt. AJ, how much is, as one of the leaders on this team, do you want to be a tone setter? Do you, and, and do you feel like a play where you're fighting to get in the end zone and doing it helps maybe jumpstart a team? Um. I'm always trying to find a way to get the ball, uh, to get the, get the team going, no matter when it is. And I feel like I can be a spark whenever. Uh, but I got to do what was necessary, uh, do the little things before all of that take place and, and not worry about the ending, you know. Uh, so um, that's my mindset when I'm out there. Do the little things first, and, and the big stuff will happen afterwards. So, yeah. When, when did you meet Desmond King, and how cool was that to be cheering a teammate crossing the goal line, a guy who just – was with you, I think, for the first time yesterday. Yeah, I met, I met him yesterday in the locker room, came and introduced himself, um, talked a little bit. And uh, we were talking on the sideline, how about his first game, he get a touchdown. That's that's crazy. <laughs> so uh, he, he played a good game today. Uh, I'm excited for him to, to be, a part of, be a part of the team. And, you know, so. Terry McCormick. AJ, can you take us through the uh, – there was a one play in the first quarter where it looked like you and Ryan miscommunicated on a deep ball just a little bit and then take us through that and then the adjustment that you made to, to catch the deep ball for the touchdown. Um, like I said earlier, uh, we just wanted to let him know that we'll take him, we'll take him deep because he was, he was jumping. Uh, he jumped the first two routes. You know, so we had to at least put it a thought in, in his mind, even if we didn't complete it, that we would take him deep, we would go deep on him. And I uh, I don't know if Brian was trying to look off the safety or whatever the case may be. Uh, so, um, but the second time we we connected, he threw a great ball, uh, and uh, I finished the finished the play. Jim Wyatt. 